Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on a Husqvarna tractor. Things leaking oil and smoking all over the place. Here it is. As I said, it's a Husqvarna. I think it's a 42 inch deck, I believe. And it's got the uh, Kohler engine YTH20F42T. And we'll pop the hood. <coughs> It's got the Courage 20, and they're pretty notorious for, well, not really being a good engine and also leaking oil. Um, what we're going to have to do is uh, pull the hood off this, and I'll show you where it's leaking. And all we have to do is uh, unconnect that electrical cable, and the hood should pop right off. Well, here's a look at the uh, valve cover, and you can see it's got oil all over it, caked up. But down underneath, you can see it's dripping right on top of the muffler, and that's what's causing so much smoke. These twin cams are notorious for leaking. There's like a cork gasket in here that uh, fails. So uh, the best thing to do is goop it up and uh, use some... Um, high temp RTV sealant so that's what I'll be doing today we're gonna to start out by moving this plastic shroud we have uh, looks like four bolts up top so I'm gonna pull those and get that shroud off so we pop the uh, cover off there and now we can take a look and uh, you can see this is all caked up needs to be cleaned um, I'm seeing some oil up here and these engines are pretty prone to they're like a reverse engine this is actually your sump cover up top and uh, these bolts up here come loose they rattle loose I'm not sure what the deal is but they'll come loose and if you look this one's loose so you know this little job just became much bigger if you're interested in how to replace the crankcase gasket, I have another video on the same tractor on how to do that. It's a very common repair, so you might be interested in that video. But this video, we're going to continue on with how to RTV the valve cover. Alright guys, so we got a little sidetracked on what I thought we'd be doing, but anyhow, uh, we removed the sump and we're replacing the gasket in there and while we have everything apart we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull off the valve cover but before I do that I'm gonna just blow out uh, a lot of this debris Gonna use the brakes part cleaner. Just clean this up a little bit more than air. It's gonna have to be cleaned up anyhow when we seal it up. Now that we're cleaned up nicely, there's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts, so we're gonna pull these. Okay, so here's a look in here, and this is the uh, cork gasket, so I'm going to try and take this thing off. These don't work too well, and always end up failing. And you can see the, the oil was actually, you know, it was coming over the front of the gasket between the cover and the front of the gasket. And uh, these don't work well, so we're going to get rid of that. Here's a look at the valve cover. All this is dust and dirt. 
So we're going to start out just by uh, cleaning this thing off. A little tip for you. You can look at where the black dirt is and that shows you where this cover does not mate up with the aluminum from the block. So basically your RTV sealant has to go where the dirt isn't. The silver shiny area is really where you want to put it. Alright, so I've gone through the whole thing and some of the sub stubborn spots I had to scrape a little bit with the screwdriver, cleaned it off with uh, parts cleaner on both sides. This thing needs to be clean enough to eat off of it. So we did that and then in here there's a hole. We're going to try and pick this up. This should come loose. It's starting to move. There's a, a sponge behind here. There we go. So just pry easily. Should be able to get this out of here. And there's a reed valve. There we go. See all that oil in there? We want to get that out. And in here you have oil, you have the sponge. Uh, we're going to wring all that out because what will happen is this oil will come back through and it's going to wreck the gasket maker we use. Okay, so I took some time. I got everything as clean as I possibly could with the uh, brake cleaner. Got all the oil residue out of there best I could. The sponge I sprayed off and I blotted up with a shop towel and uh, everything is looking good so we are just about ready to seal this thing up i gotta get the uh permatex okay guys it's been a couple days <clears throat> um i had to wait to get this uh, gasket sealer on here because i wanted to make sure i put the crankcase back together before i set the valves and all that so valves are all set and uh, now we're just adding the RTV. One thing to note is that uh, this area out here doesn't even hit any of the aluminum on the block. So you want to try and keep it real close in here, right where this piece mates up. And you got to be pretty generous with it. Um, Kohler's been having some issues with that cork gasket leaking and this is the recommended repair um, I think they say use silicone I'm using high temp RTV and we're covering everything real well uh, this is from Permatex and the trick to doing this is you want to put it on there and let it harden a little bit. So I'm going to wait like 10 minutes or so until this thing gets a skin kind of on it. And then uh, I think we'll be ready. Just making sure I have enough. I've decided before I let it harden up, I'm just going to spread it a little. Just to get good even coverage. This will also help prevent it from breaking off. Um, this stuff doesn't really break off too much. Some people talk about how this will destroy your engine because a piece will break off and get in there. But it sticks together pretty well. I mean, I've removed mowers with this stuff on and it stays in place. And you can usually peel it off just like uh, silicone caulk. All right, so we'll let that set up. Okay guys, I jacked it up and changed the blades and now we're gonna put this thing in place. So, getting you set up for that. And I set the valve cover in front of the fireplace and the RTV just kind of has a little bit of a skin over it. Um, this is all cleaned off. 
brake parts cleaner. Everything's looking good. I mopped out all the oil that was in there. And now we're just going to line this thing up. And we're going to get our, our bolts in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. I'm not going to snug it down tight. I'm just going to sort of snug it. And then um, maybe about an hour later, I'll uh, tighten it a little bit more. I just don't want to squeeze out all that RTV. So I have those bolts on there. They're just snugged up. Uh, I'm going to let the RTV set up for about an hour or so, maybe about 45 minutes. And uh, we'll torque them down just in a crisscross pattern. And that's pretty much it. That's the uh, called for repair here without the um, cork gasket. And as I said, the problem with the cork is that like oil will soak into it. It will absorb it. So, uh, you know, that's why the cork tends to fail and doesn't last very long. Another thing that you can do to help prevent this thing from leaking is add a little heat shield here to help prevent the heat from the muffler getting up here because they usually leak on the bottom. So, uh, that's something that you can do if you're often replacing the... Uh, valve cover because it's leaking or the gasket I should say Okay guys, um, I decided to make this heat plate thing, we'll just stick that on there, can't hurt, and I happen to have some metal, and uh, trying these new drill bits, they're by DeWalt, they're specifically made for uh, drilling through steel, so we'll see how they do. Not bad. I think this is 14 gauge steel. Here's a look at the heat shield. Not much to it. Just a, a piece of 14 gauge steel with uh, two holes in it. And I left it kind of open so some of the heat can get out of the muffler area and dissipate. So I've been working on a couple other little things with this and now I'm coming back and I'm just torquing these down 120 inch pounds is what I'm doing. I'm not sure what the spec is and I'm doing it in a crisscross pattern. Alright guys. Um, about two days later here, I'm running around, I got uh, sidetracked, and now I'm back out here. I got pretty much everything wrapped up on this thing. Um, I put together the crankcase, got the uh, valves all set. I didn't change the oil, I sharpened the blades. So, just trying to get everything buttoned up here and I gotta wait to start this thing because I'm waiting on the uh, RTV ceiling here to set up 
So I think what I'm going to do is attach these plastic covers and then um, we'll come back and show you how this thing runs in another day. So right now that's the plan. I should probably keep these shrouds off so I can see if there's any leaks. But things went together nice. Filters like brand new on this thing. Let's put that back. I can figure out how. It goes this way. Well, I think tomorrow we'll. Uh, Fire this thing up, get it hot, change the oil. Blades are done, the leaks are stopped. Might clean it a little bit. I gotta change the tires on this thing. It goes there. It goes there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, since this is my buddy's, this is a VIP vinyl leather repair. And I got a day to kill on this thing. So we should be able to fill this in. I've used this stuff before, it works pretty well. And these cracks, once they start, they just uh, continue to get a little wider. So we'll let that set up overnight as well. Well, we got this one wrapped up. Uh, I can't run the engine because uh, that RTV really needs time to set up. I'm thinking at least a day. Uh, and I, I don't want to rush it, so we'll, we'll let that set up. And I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you're interested in any supplies or tools used in this project, I'll put some links in the description. And if you want to come back and watch my uh, crankcase video once I get that one posted, uh, you can actually see the tractor running. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.